Hey guys, welcome back. In the last session, we have written a, a get mapping method. Okay, so to get the uh, to get the account details. Okay, so now in this session, what we will do is we'll uh, build a account services Docker image. So let's see how we can build a account service Docker image. So now to build a Docker image, we will be using Maven. We will be using Maven to build the Docker image. We will be using a command card, Spring Boot, build image. So the Docker will be building the image for us and it will be pushing to the Docker library. Okay. So we have done this uh, when we are like working with uh, uh, you know, uh, customer services. The same thing I'm going to do. Okay, so if you want to do by yourself, you can pause the video and you can do it by yourself. Okay, so if you have any doubts regarding the creation of an image, okay, please let me know in the comment section. So now I'll be going to the file here. You can see run uh, run uh, is there, right? So get inside the run. So here you can see edit configurations. Click on edit configurations here now here you need to add a new configuration in order to add a new configuration click on plus symbol so when you click on plus symbol it will request you to add the configuration type so what type of configuration you want maven Pharma, kotlin node.js and and quarkus related uh, configuration so here quarkus related configuration and many more we have as of now we are working with Maven, right? So we need Maven only. So click on Maven. So when you click on Maven, Maven by default will copy the project name as the configuration name. Now, the next thing what you have to do, you don't need to disturb run and you have to, uh, you know, give the run command over here. So as I said, I need to give the run command as spring boot, spring hyphen boot colon build image. So this is the command I'll be using to create the Docker image. Okay. So as of now, just apply and click on OK. So we need to do some other changes in the uh, uh, the file as well. So in the application dot properties file, we need to add the uh, you know in in place of local host, we need to add the Docker related uh, details actually what we need to add in place of local host actually so as we are deploying this uh, account services into the uh, docker so we will be giving the docker host details uh, i'll say host oh sorry i'll say host host dot docker dot internal so this is the one which i am going to use actually this is the url which i'm using it uh, host dot docker dot internal and the port is 3306 here we need to change the port as well here we need to uh change the port no here we we, we okay. don't need to change the port actually so this is the uh 3306 because we are trying to access the mysql from the docker post actually so uh so we don't need to do any changes actually so mysql default port number is uh, uh you know 3306 only and we have given the username and password as a root root only and uh, yeah so on the dialect details and we have all given so now let's go here and click on this play button so it will run the docker image actually now let's go and check the docker image so how it will be generating the docker image let's see the steps actually so here it is started the build process so you can see here spring boot colon and it is mentioning the uh, spring boot version and this is uh building the image actually okay so now see you can see it is compiling the resources and it is building a jar file actually you can see here now the project uh, is compiled and it is generated the jar file now you it will use this jar and it will be building an image okay so it will uh deploy the jar into the you know uh, um, uh docker image and uh, uh when you run the docker image by default uh um, so it will be running the jar as well so we can access the um, uh, spring boot application okay so let's see so it is still it is in process to uh, you know download the uh, docker image when you are 
you know uh, creating the account services for the first time it will be taking us a time to you know uh, create the uh, download the base image so once it is download the base image uh, so it will uh, uh, start uh, creating the layers actually so first it will download the base image then what it will do is then it will be copying the jar to the uh, you know, uh, then it will be downloading the Java, then it will be copying the jar to the, uh, you know, uh, the Docker location, then what it will be doing. So then it will be uh, uh, giving the port details and all default port details where it should run all these details. Once it is doing all these steps, actually, it will be saving the Docker image. So here you can see, here you can see it is, uh, it is done with all the steps and it is saving the Docker image to the Docker library. So, and the image name is account services and the version is 0 0.0.1 snapshot version. So, here you can see we have uh, successfully generated the, uh, you know, successfully generated the Docker image actually. So, the Docker image, if you go and check this uh, Docker image uh, in the uh, Docker hub, you will be finding the Docker image. So, let me open the Docker hub. So, in the Docker hub, you can go and check the image section actually in the image section if you search for the account services you'll see the image actually so this is the image just now we have generated actually and the snapshot and the tag is 0 0.0.1 is the tag we have uh, given actually okay so i hope this is fine in the next session what i'll do is i'll be running this image actually i'll be running this image so you can run the image so uh, We'll do one thing. We'll run the image in this session only. In the next session, what we'll do is we'll be, uh, you know, uh, creating an ML file and we will be running the ML file and we'll be trying to access this account services from the Kubernetes actually. Okay, fine. So if you want to run, we have two approaches. One is the, uh, you know, you can directly run from the, you know, Docker desktop. And the other one is I have shown you when uh, we are, uh, you know, worked with uh, customer services. Uh, so let's, let's see this one, the second approach uh, in account services. Let's click on the run. So it will ask you to uh, run again, to ask you to select the run command again. So once you select the run command, it will see, it will, it's loaded the, uh, you know, uh, jar and it is starting the, you know, Spring Boot application actually. So once it starts, we can able to access the Spring Boot application. Uh, on the port number. Uh, so let's see. The Tomcat started on the port number 8082. You can access this uh, uh, Spring Boot application on port 8082. Okay. So I hope this is fine. Um, if you have any doubts, please uh, let me know in the comment section. I'll be happy to help you. Thank you for watching.